Phoenicia, upstate New York. This quaint town at the base of the Catskills is primarily known for being a popular vacation destination. But it is also known as the hiding place of an incredible lost fortune. Because according to legend, somewhere in this area, a safe was buried that contains tens of millions of dollars in cash, bonds, and jewelry that belonged to a gangster named Dutch Schultz. Dutch Schultz was one of the most iconic early 20th century mobsters in America. He was someone that had a name and a reputation that spread across the country as a real tough guy. And he became a millionaire during Prohibition on bootlegging and various other rackets. Dutch Schultz became what was known as the beer baron of the Bronx because during Prohibition, uh, it was hard to get beer. And if you wanted beer, you had to get it from Dutch Schultz because he controlled everything above 57th Street and in the Bronx. In the early 1930s, the FBI started building a case against Dutch Schultz in an effort to crack down on organized crime. The investigation was led by U.S. Attorney Thomas Dewey. Thomas Dewey was a very smart prosecutor. He went methodically after all of the criminals. So Dutch became so paranoid that he wanted to bury his wealth before they could take it. Supposedly, while he was under indictment, Dutch Schultz had a customized safe constructed for him that was airproof, soundproof, weatherproof. Him and his bodyguard put what was thought to be anywhere between five and $10 million in that safe, as well as jewelry and bonds. And they allegedly took that safe up to the Catskills and buried it somewhere. The Dutch Schultz treasure is an intriguing notion because one of the items allegedly put into the treasure box were Liberty Bonds. And these are simply bonds that could be redeemed at a future date for more than the value you paid for them. But no Liberty Bond associated with Dutch Schultz or any of his accomplices has ever been redeemed. This is used as one of the clues that this treasure is still at large. If it's true that the lost treasure of Dutch Schultz does in fact exist, then where could it be hidden? Well, according to many researchers, the most likely place is somewhere along an old brook named Stony Clove Creek. Even though Dutch was a city kid, he knew the Catskills well because that's where he had his stills making the whiskey. He'd stay at the Phoenicia Hotel and then drive up and look at all of his stills. Back in 1935, there was a train that went from New York City up to the Catskills. It went through this area near Stony Clove Creek and Phoenicia. One station was called Lanesville, which was really nothing more than a little shack. At that time, Dutch was afraid of being nabbed in a checkpoint with the treasure. So treasure hunters have theorized that he got off the train at Lanesville, buried the treasure somewhere along the banks of the Stony Clove Creek because it's extremely remote. Is it possible that the lost treasure of Dutch Schultz is buried somewhere along the banks of Stony Clove Creek? We may never know for sure because in 1935, a rival gangster named Charlie Lucky Luciano ordered a hit on Dutch Schultz. Dutch Schultz had set up his operation at the Palace Chop House, a small restaurant bar establishment in Newark, New Jersey, and two assassins, Charles the Bug Workman and Mendy Weiss, walk into the bar. Charles shoots Dutch twice. And there's that famous picture of Dutch Schultz with his head on the table after he's been shot twice. He's grievously injured, but not dead. 
Dutch Schultz was immediately rushed to the New York hospital. And some researchers believe that on his deathbed, Dutch left a final clue as to where his treasure vault is buried. During his deathbed rant, he's giving little tidbits of possible information about his treasure. At one point, he says, don't let Satan draw you too fast. That could just be a ramble. But some treasure hunters believe this line could be a reference to a geological formation in the town of Phoenicia called the Devil's Rock. There have been scores of treasure hunters trying to find this treasure up in the Catskills around Phoenicia. It is worth so much that today you could probably buy a fleet of jumbo jets with just what's in that treasure box. And that's why everyone's looking for it.